Hi, welcome to Purgatory Prep. I'm Principal Chastity. I've been the principal here at Purgatory Prep for a little over, um, I'd say, 2,000 years or so. So I'm fairly new after taking over from the school's founder, Angel Michael, who has now moved up to corporate's office. Here at Purgatory Prep, our school's mission is to produce the finest trained angels and demons. Angels and demons study very hard to earn their wings and horns. We accept only the brightest and finest students. In fact, my own daughter, Angelina, is a sophomore here, majoring in angelic studies. Fluffy! Hello, my name is Percival, and I'm training to become an angel of vengeance. Hi, my name is Sugar, and I am in my opinion, a very good angel. Hi, um, I'm Alana, and um, I'm a junior here, just beginning my junior year. I'm Catherine. Um, my name is Raven. I go to Purgatory Prep, and I'm a junior. I'm Angelina. My name's Hope, and um, I am a sophomore at Purgatory Prep. My name is Joy, and I am in freshman year at Purgatory Prep. Hey, I'm Sunshine. I'm a demon because I don't want to be a little wimpy angel. My name is Layla. I'm a freshman at Purgatory Prep. Um, my name is Ruin, and I'm a sophomore at Purgatory Prep. Hi, my name is Faith. I go to Purgatory Prep School, and I am a junior. I'm Charity, and I'm a junior at Purgatory Prep. Hi, I'm Sinestro, and I go to Purgatory Prep. Hi, uh, I'm Lucius. Junior demonic student here at Purgatory Prep. Hi, I'm Maximus, and I am the junior here at Purgatory Prep. I don't like demons because the demons always try to hurt us. Oh my oh, gosh, will they ever shut up? <laughs> and the devils are okay, but it's just that. They can be a little mean, and they're always calling me brown sugar and stuff. And the demons, they like always want to win, and it's kind of annoying sometimes. Rainbows! Once Lucifer, he picked up a ball and just chucked it at, uh, oh, what's his name? The one angel. Uh, uh, Joy, I think? Yeah. Oh, Joy. yeah, Joy. <laughs> she was, was flying pretty... across the gym. Yeah. I don't even know why we're mingled together. I mean, yeah. We have a strategy of believing. Demons, they just don't believe. It's easier. It's more fun. It's just awesome. Don't have to watch yourself. Yeah, you can break all the rules. Oh. Yeah, we're not expected to do anything like nice. Good always triumphs over evil. Well, if evil never wins, how do you explain the New York Yankees? Well, I don't know about other angels. But I play with all my animals. I have pet flies, lemurs, camels, dogs, kittens, and anything else that you can name. I like to uh, do blood art and be a blood artist. What we like to do outside of school would be um, go to the park and pet yeah. puppies. That's hers, and I like to just fly around. I like to plan world domination. I also like to watch movies. I love, love movies. Ride on a rainbow. Our staff here at Purgatory Prep are very highly trained and very educated professionals from heaven and the other place. Miss Blaylock is a math slash science instructor. Math and science, as you all know, is the key to everything in the universe. So students must pass their class in order to graduate. Hello, my name is Miss Blaylock, and you will address me as such. Here at Purgatory Prep, I teach math, apocalyptic equations, demonology, numerology, and quantum physics. I was against the integration of demons and angels since the beginning, and still am. I believe that that's just the angels giving demons a bad rep. Our music teacher, Mr. Gabriel, offers a very structured and informational music course. 
Students learn about all styles of music as well as learn how to play all the instruments that mankind has to offer. Oh, hello there. My name is Mr. Gabriel. I teach music here at Purgatory Prep. The demons are a little hard to work with, but they can be good at times. One, two, three, four! The uh, angels, however, are trying to work with. One, two, one, two, ready, go. I actually took up the music angel after Lucifer got cast out. And I'm also coaching the angels team for the dodgeball tournament. Mr. Gabriel's nice. Yeah. Gabriel's just like, help me in the heart. And the music is always so lovely and it's always so pretty, but sometimes the demons can make it too yeah. loud. We just listen to the music over and over and over. Mr. Gabriel is the awesomest teacher. Gabe, Mr. Mr. Gabriel? I know. Such a wimp. He's just like... All goody-goody is always talking about good, doing good deeds and playing the harp and the Big piano. Oh my god. <sighs> ah, the only music I want to make is banging on drums. I uh, prefer if they were human skulls. Now he's using their arm bones. Our physical education instructor is Mr. Lucifer. Mr. Lucifer was originally our music instructor before Mr. Gabriel. But due to some unfortunate circumstances and some legal litigation, he was reassigned to head our physical education department. Hi there, I'm Lucifer. I'm the physical education teacher here at Purgatory Prep. <laughs> See, I've been working here since, oh, the dawn of man. Well, ever since uh, Adam and Eve left the Garden of Eden. I had a little something to do with that, you know, but <laughs> that's another story. Old man Lucy's kind of mean. Well, we call him Lucy because his name is Lucifer, but he's annoying. Um, Jim with Lucifer. Awesome teacher. Totally. The gym class is pretty cool. The teacher, Mr. Lucifer, is awesome. Because Mr. Lucifer... He makes us do like 500 push-ups, which like isn't fair, and he makes like the demons do like 100. I mean, it's not fair. The gym teacher, he doesn't really care who wins, he just is always congratulating the devils. Like, the teacher is like awesome. His name is Lucifer, and he's like the best teacher ever. He's just awesome. Like, And we call him Lucy behind his back. Gym class, Mr. Lucifer is the best. He's like, he, he goes so hard on the angel. Those angels is so funny to watch. All right, recruits, I want you, angels and demons, give me exactly 666 laps across this field. Do you understand me? Sir, yes, sir. Are there any questions? What do you want? Do you like kitty cats and cupcakes? Oh, we got us a funny girl. Let me tell you something, funny girl. How about you and your angel friends be the only ones to give me left? Now go! <laughs> I'll break you yet, angels. <laughs> There's a big dodgeball game coming up. It's going to be really scary. Dodgeball is the worst. And we are very scared and we have a big game coming up. Oh my gosh. We're going to wait. Thing. We're going to yeah. it. I feel that if we're extra good for Santa, that will win. We demons like to call it kill ball. And they call it kill ball instead of dodgeball. It's going to be horrible. The demons think they're going to win, but good always triumphs over evil. Demons versus angels. They always say good triumphs over evil, but... We'll see about that. Yeah. 
I think we're going to win since we've won almost every time. We are if definitely believe... going to win this dodgeball game. Yeah, if we believe, then it might come true. You're going down! <laughs> Use their strength against them. I think we're just gonna go for it. Just hit hard. He always brings in like special guests. Like yesterday, he brought in Saddam Hussein for target practice. <laughs> <laughs> I made little cardboard cutouts. I drew the face of every of, of each one of the angels, pasted them up on the gym wall. I've been drip training on them for hours every day. Well, me and my brother we wrestle all the time, so have some muscle. Um, even though angels are always nice, we we can't like let the demons win just because we're nice and we won't hurt the other team. That angel faith. I made a target of her, not 20 holes in it with dodgeballs. Well, we've trained a lot and we've practiced for this, so I think we're pretty confident. And when we win, mankind is going to totally, It's gonna be so awesome. I mean, us demons, we can spread out, we can just kind of rule the world. <laughs> no more brown sugar for me! Drop a bunch of bombs on Russia. Why not? I mean, yeah, and then the Russians, they'll shoot all their missiles on the US, and then it'll. Mm, well, bloodier the better. It's just, I just can't wait to see the angels' face when they see the final score. It's always fate of mankind, just fate of mankind that, you know how it is, like. We do a math competition with fate of mankind writing on it. The goal is always the same. Destroy man and take over the world. <laughs> I predict that the demons will get really high at first, and then in the end we will get, like, higher. Demons are so gonna rock this! Yeah! I'm a kid, baby! I'll just kill the last remaining demons and yeah. Yeah, I mean, we've maybe lost before, but whatever. Or if the demons win and they help destroy mankind. I mean, what's the whole point of destroying it? Because we used to make... The demons will probably, probably take over. Get a, get a minor loss, pa Vesuvius erupts. Minor loss, Haiti. You know how it is. Sorry guys, looks like we're gonna lose, but we'll try to lose with dignity and pride and not to mourn the death of all humans too badly. No, there is a way. No, there's not. Yeah, there is. The ball of hope. Sorry son, doesn't exist. I've seen it myself, Coach. Well, if it even is real, it's too dangerous. If you won't get it, Coach, I will. I can't let any of you get it. Now sit down. It doesn't exist.
the ball of hope. That's not fair. No! Please come again.